Alright, greetings to all people here watching this video. This video is a tutorial on how to do the, uh, <clears throat> the newly discovered easter egg of the, of the pelican and the phantom in Halo Reach. Yes, they are pliable. Now, at the time of, at the time of doing this, no one, there were no tutorials so far, so I found this out. So, yeah. When I found this out, so I found this out pretty early before it was released on the internet. And how did I figure it out? Found it out? Find it out? You might ask. Well, I have an entire army of satellites all positioned on every single point of, over every single point of the earth, all and they collect information, all every single piece of information that is ever exchanged, and they give it to and they give all necessary bits to me. In other words, somebody from Xbox Live basically just came on and told me and helped me and helped me do this. So, special thanks to that person whose Xbox Live Gamer tag I cannot remember because he wasn't on my friends list. But yes, so so to do this, uh, you need two people. And no, this does not involve the tribute room. This does not involve the tribute room. Uh, not the tribute room. Duh. I mean the. Uh, this does not involve the club. I did use the. I did do the club though, just because you got it. Here's what you have to do. You have to run through the whole level. Well, no, not the whole level. You have to get all the way to the ending part though, because. This Bungie, did, Bungie said in their weekly update it had to be the right place at the right time. The only part of the game that is scripted, that it, well not scripted, but the only part of the game that isn't randomized in terms of in terms of objectives is is the end. Even the beginning can sometimes not be the hospital. The only thing is for certain is that the ending will be is that the ending will be on there. And right now I'm just showing a clip of some rather silly things that happened in the game in Walls in the Run. But anyway, so this is where now at this point in the game when you hear this dialogue is changed. All jammers are down. Solid copy, Noble 2. New orders. All personnel are to be evacuated from Oni HQ. Say confirm. Confirm, Oni Tower evacuated. Yeah. Noble 2! Noble 2, sit rep! Copies are hitting the HQ in force! They must have zeroed my signal! Get that evac started! Roger that! Noble 6, get over here and cover our evac pelicans! I need you overhead now! Alright, so what you want to do is... Now, obviously, you would normally go and take out all the shade turrets and nice red versus blue reference there in the right there in the background. Anyway, okay, so well, what you want to do instead is you want to go to this to the building I'm about to show to a specific building in the background because a switch appeared underneath a building. Yes, yeah, that's what. Yeah, I was completely off bait. Uh, I was completely off, my friend and I were completely off until this guy came up and showed us this. We were just. We were, look, we were like, trying to exploit another switch, but that's another story. Anyway, the building I'm shooting at right now, that is the one that you want to go to. Basically, the, so that's where the switch is, and it only appears it only appears when the, when your final objective, which is to say, which is to stop, which is to uh, get rid of those shade turrets around the Oni base, appears. And it can happen anywhere, obviously, because this is a sandbox like type level where missions happen in randomized order. But anyway, so. Basically, I'm just going to show you in the Quincy detectable camera. Here's the switch right here. Very cleverly hidden. I don't think I would have ever found that, even if I searched the whole, even if I spent like hours searching the whole city. So what you want to do though, so to activate it, you want to get on top of your, on top of the Falcon with your friend flying it. So yes, you should have two people. You you do need two people to do this, I think, unless there's another way. Anyway, hit that switch. Now you can no longer call for evac to warp yourself back to the beginning. So what you're going to want to do. Is either before is if you don't have any spare falcons, go and get one before you hit the switch. Or if you do before, or if you do, then go back. Or if you do have any, but if you do have a spare falcon, then go back and get it now before you access this. Before you access the pelican, because you'll because you'll need it in order because that that way both that way both players can drive drive a pel, drive a pelican because with, for every falcon you have, you get another pelican. Area secure. And, and it will make sense in a minute. So, um, basically, as you know, the shape of the shape of Halo, of Halo, is a ring. So, with that spirit, take a look at as you see this building here. This building is in the shape; it has a ring-like shape to it too. So, what you want to do is you want to fly through the ring. I took. There's a nice little interesting building. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if I'll go through it and, and show off. I mean, sure, the city's in danger, but they can always use a little bit of entertainment to lighten up their days. So, I'll just fly through this ring, and maybe they'll think it's cool. Huh. Alright. Oh, what's this? Suddenly you're in control of a pelican! Awesome! So, I'm gonna quickly show. So, yeah, you're gonna see that in the. You're gonna see what that looks like from third person view now, as my friend attempts it. He went through it and it didn't work. If it doesn't work for you the first time, go through it again. Eventually it will work. 
but it might not work imme immediately. <coughs> All right. Yeah, also don't be in the passenger seat of the Falcon, otherwise you'll fall to your death, as you can see from there. Now, you can also, alternatively, you fly a Banshee to there and you'll get a Phantom. Now, this is one, if you don't have a jetpack, this is the other way you can hijack a Banshee in, the, in this level. And this is the other guy, um, whatever his name. This is the other, and this is the guy, um, who showed us to us. This is a different video right now. This is a different, this is a different film I'm watching. This is actually, because I, I didn't actually use, get into the Falcon, so this is footage of the guy who showed us this trick to getting the, um, Phantom. Did I say Falcon earlier? <laughs> well, either way. To be honest, I didn't even know he actually used the Phantom until I actually watched this in theater. I thought he said he was going to, but didn't. So, I don't know if you can pilot those little turrets there or not. I, I haven't tested it, but you, can, you guys can do that and find out for yourselves. Or you could look it up on the internet. I'm sure it's available on the internet. In fact, uh, just as I went to record this, I saw that the forum, the Halo Reach forum, already ha had already become a tutorial instead of figure out how to find it. So, yeah. So, uh, here's the controls for it. This is the default controls. And you float, and don't worry, you, and now if you're, when you're idle, you just float in the air. And also, the, now as for my rating on the control, on the controlling of the Pelican, personally, I think it's uh, a little tip, it's a little tough to control, but it's not a big deal, because this is, in fact, an Easter egg. If they had a level where you were required to control the Pelican, then we'd be, then that'd be a problem. So, now can you finish, you cannot fire the, fire the chain gun, and you can, and with the Phantom, you can't fire the, the shade turret attached. The, uh, turret, well, the concussion rifle turret, or whatever the hell you want to call it. You can't fire that thing. But, if, in terms of this final objective, you can still commit this objective. You can still do this final objective by ramming the shade turrets off, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, it's a little tough to control. It's a little tough to control and not crashing the shit with it. Bye! That's one. This is just hilarious. I mean, you're just... You're gonna destroy... You're gonna... Stop... Stop this attack by doing nothing but ramming into stuff. Then again, Carter did ram his pelican into a scarab, and then that works, so... Yeah, I guess pelicans do have a lot of... Do... do do have a lot of driving force. Another shape to lift down. <coughs> so my friend and I both do this. The turret is down. Whiskey three six, proceed with evac. I copy, command. Thanks. Nova six, lose those other shape turrets so the pelicans can get out of here. And now the epic music starts playing. And this is where I begin to fail because, as you can, because uh, I'm not used to control, because I really am not used to controlling that thing. I got it somewhat. I tipped it over slightly. I'm such a badass. Oh hey, it actually fell off all the way. That's the point, Shade. I thought strange. I thought my friend had to push it off. No, it's actually that's this one. Oh yeah, you're invincible by the way. Actually, no, you're not completely invincible. If you get shot in the right spot, like the cockpit or something, you're gonna get take damage, as you probably saw earlier. But if you uh, but if you get shot anywhere else, you don't take any damage. Ah, pel. And you know, now I understand why so many pelicans crash in the Halo games. You, their flight controls are so cr are so crappy. You just can't, you're gonna ram into something. You're probably gonna ram into, ram into things that. In like a day on a on an on an hourly basis. No wonder we crash so many pelicans in these games. Whiskey three five, you're clear to proceed with either. Copy command. Much obliged. Noble six zero one, steely eyed Spartan. I'm extending the landing pad now. Come home, Lieutenant. Okay, now uh, I'm also going to show you that you can actually go inside the pelican, right inside the pelican. As you can see here, now you can fire shots, and you can melee, but you won't. It won't look like anything on your side. On your side. So there's the guy who showed us this to us again. It won't. You won't look like anything from the third person view. Like he was meleeing there, and he's shooting now, and it doesn't look like he's doing anything though. 
You can shoot outside the Pelican, too, like, like the guns will go outside. And also, this is a funny thing that happened to me, a funny little glitch that we have not been able to re replicate, but somehow I got stuck inside the Pelican, which was awesome. Like, I tried to get out and I got stuck inside. Now, you but you do take a lot of damage in there as I get... I splattered, you splattered it, although that took me a while to do. I had to cut out a lot of excess footage that would have been wasted with waste time. Anyway, now I shall land it. And a perfect crooked landing. I'll leave you with this scene to end it off. Look at this place. It used to be the crown jewel. Not anymore. Hey, you made it. It's a regular family reunion. Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just saved the planet. We should all be so lucky. Sir, that true about Gauntlet Red and Echo teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communiques. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, Cat. Chasing it. But this console's got more shrapnel in it than transceivers. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. Colonel Holland, hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. We're in the southwest quadrant of the city. Over. Sierra 259. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. Carter here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. We got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles vacating the area. And they're in a hurry. How often you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million root guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That's close! First glassing? Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2. 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir? We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? Covenant own it now! Which is why they want us for a torch and burn op. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. If it hasn't already... Maybe, but according to Holland, the Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Come on, come on, get in! Let's go, come on! 